Lucia. You are the daughter of the famous Dr. CB, okay? Honduran herbalist and healer, of course. And we have your mother here. Now, I just learned how to pronounce your name. <laughs> okay, so let me see if I can get it right. Ma ah. Perfect. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm the worst with names, okay? <laughs> and you are the, um, before I guess Dr. CB became Dr. CB, you were uh, a part of the creation of. Dr. CB. So you <laughs> helped to pick out his name. Yes, ma'am. Okay. And you were Mrs. CB, of course, as well, because your real name was what before you became Ma? Sabi, before Sabi became Sabi, because Sabi had said, pick, let's pick a name. And he said, pick my name, Ma, if you get to know okay. a little bit of his personality. So, okay. So we picked the name Sabi, the ancient time. It's. It was a whole process in picking. Could that you name. explain the process? Because I want to kind of unwind why we're here. Because we're here because there is a documentary that's being filmed right now as we as we speak. Okay, by Nipsey Hussle. He's a rapper, and I guess he's taken to a lot of uh, Dr. CB's uh, healing practices and things, and he's uh, reinvented. <laughs> I guess his life and he's now conscious and woke and eating well because he used to be a drug addict and uh, he uh, credits P. Diddy for helping him to kind of overcome that. And now he's really into, I guess, studying the body and Dr. Sabi, because I'm saying it wrong, I'm saying Sabi, Sabi, <laughs> okay, um, I guess was a one of the healers that he looked up to. And so as a result, he's using his platform because he is a rapper very known in the industry to produce a documentary but interesting enough you two who were the founders of the entire i mean we call it brand yeah that's <laughs> the new name yeah brand, <laughs> brand. but <laughs> his entire being Per se, mm -hmm. okay. Mm -hmm. let's, use the, let's use the word movement. Movement, because okay. It's a community, and we're trying to create a movement. We're trying to create this in which our community can understand healing and health and wellness and wellness. Okay, okay. And so, interesting enough, this documentary is being filmed, and he's using as what I would call, and you guys probably would disagree with that, an imposter saying that she's, I guess, Dr. CB's wife and she was beside him during the whole court process. I was looking at various interviews and she said my husband was <laughs> tried by the, by the courts, okay, and, and beat it, you know, because he was practicing medicine illegally and she is telling that story on camera during... Um, while they're filming that documentary, and you two have not been contacted at all. Am I correct? That's correct. Okay, so Nipsey Hussle and his production has not contacted you, Ma'a, or Usha, the daughter. That is correct. Who the village is named after. That's correct. Okay, <laughs> so no, you, you, you've checked your spam folder. There hasn't been any email, per se, that you missed. I I don't know. I looked through my emails. I don't. I don't see any. I didn't see anything. So they're filming a doctor, a documentary, trying to highlight and follow Doctor Sabi's life, and you guys, who were of course responsible for helping to create the movement, is not a part of it at all. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. So I'm coming from the old school. We were <laughs> married thirty years. Okay. Sabi was a merchant marine, and this is not where we're going to go, and Usha's going to transfer it to another way. Okay. But just for this part, we were married 30 years. So what we went through with the court, what we went through, it, it was a whole lot what we went you through. You were there from the beginning. And what we created. And I'm not trying to say the ego and the, the me, 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 because this is the energy we discuss. We're not going to. Okay. But... We want the truth to be told, and then this is unwind. So, wait a minute, wait a minute. Were you there? Because it was 30 years, and when that man called, the scientist called and said, 
He needs to get the Nobel Peace Prize or life in prison. Were you there? Mm. When the FDA came to me, were you there? When he, when they, when we had to go to court, when we really, when there was the little FDA where you sit around the table mm. and they're asking questions, like a Senate hearing, yeah, yeah. Or something. Savy wasn't even there. Were you there? Is the question, like. All that, the whole process of what that was, were you there? <laughs> and the question is, who was there? Okay, so. Come on now. But people still. My children was trying to protect me, and I don't know who Nipsey is, but you explained. Okay. And I don't know what these people are saying, but when you, that's the whole point, you were saying that and explaining that. So it's like, oh, my God, well. <clears throat> Well, he, let the truth be told. Just tell the truth is the point here. Okay, and and that's what we want because there have been a lot of rumors, misconceptions about who he is, about misconceptions about how he died, conspiracy theories, and everything. And the woman that is filming with Nipsey Hussle, who you know, according to the research that I've done, is his latest wife. And this particular wife, I believe she goes by the name Patsy, but she is calling herself Mrs. Sabi. Um, she's put out several interviews last year, um, upset, basically saying people have came in and taken over the company. So the herbs that people are getting are not right. This is a company that her and her husband, Dr. Sabi, built together. <clears throat> and I see you breathing hard. Yes. She's working with Nipsey Hussle to film this documentary, which is supposed to be an accurate documentary of how Dr. Sabi became to be who he is. And so to hear <laughs> and to hear um, her express her frustrations and about you know, a lot of the things that has happened, the company has been snatched from her. Someone signed it over. I saw videos of where Dr. Sabi was literally going off before he died about his uh, wife and children betraying him. So I align myself with women that are bad. I have some rotten ones around me now. My wife, my ex-wife, my manager, my daughters, they all conspired against me. And that's okay. There'll be some rotten ones in the barrel, but take them up and throw them away. Exactly. We're going to work with those like you. I love it. I love that I have survived these years at 83 to see this reality. The black woman is the god of the universe. Oh, that was her. That was who we was talking about. Remember, you just said it's his wife. So... We were married 30 years. We were separated. He got married, a different chapter in his life. So when he was going now, she, I don't want no, to do the, tell it. No. I don't want to do the chatty patty. Okay. I don't want to do the blame, but when, and I don't want to create a war. But when he said, and when you, the, the video that you're talking about, okay, without me accusing and doing, going into there, into the love hop okay. kind of thing, well, you're saying his. You're saying you're his wife. So who's he talking about? Come on now. Okay. And it's a video, and it's a video, and he named the name. He named the name. Her name is Matun. Now her real name, her legal name is Patricia, but her name is Matun. Okay. And he named that. I'm not trying to say that. I'm not trying to throw anybody under the bus. He said, my tune. You, are you friends with my tune or Patsy or Absolutely the woman who's not. claiming to be no, the real Mrs. Sabi who helped to <laughs> no, create this movement? And I'm not even trying to, because uh, it, this is not war and this is not creating. So I'm not trying to be Mrs. Sabi. Okay. Sabi and I were together. Sabi's name was Alfredo Bowman. His name became Sabi, and everybody known him as Dr. Sabi. Okay. Because that is what we created. But the name is Alfredo Bowman, a.k.a. Sabi. My name is Ma'a 
Bowman. Bowman. Okay. So now he got married again, and now you came into this to create, let's not, let's just tell the truth where the numbers were, because we started in the 70s and what we created and what we did. She was nowhere around. She lived in Trinidad. Okay. Let's go by, let's go by just her child's age if we're going to go by numbers, and those numbers are the facts. So when we created this, it wasn't about, it wasn't even about business. Sabi said, how can I bring them home? How can I bring my people home? This is about healing the nation. It's not, this is what we do. It's about love. Mm -hmm. It was, how can I bring them home? And where we began to create this was out of love. This wasn't no, a business. This wasn't a business. This was at home. See, he speaks okay. Spanish. People were coming they, because he has a persona and a personality. So people were coming. Uh, lots of people He's were very, coming. He was very entertaining. He, <laughs> a lot of people were coming from Mexico. Were you there? People were coming from Mexico, and he was. they were sitting around, and we were talking. Oh, she was a baby. I don't know how much she remembers of that. Sasa of was, and, <laughs> and there's I lots of people. Remember. People spent the night. That's how we created the Usha village. Yeah. Usha means healing. Mm. So we created that. We created the very, very, very beginning was out of love for our people, and the healing of the nation. It wasn't a business. People came and talked, and Sebi would say, Ma'a, go make so-and-so. And this great big pot, and we make it, and they came with their alcohol bottles. Mm -hmm. I don't know what those bottles were. We didn't, even, <laughs> we, we didn't have no bottles. Little mini shot bottles. We okay. didn't have bottles. We didn't have labels. But this is Latin, so they came with those bottles, and we poured it in there, and then... He, we would talk half of the night, all the night, and they would end up spending the night, and people would be all over the floor spending the night. You don't know about that. How, how, what? What are you saying? So I want to I want to state for the record before we get into uh, Dr. Sabi as Mr. Bo Bowman Alfredo Alfredo before Bowman. <laughs> we know as Dr. Sabi. So there is a documentary being filmed currently by Nipsey Hussle, and documentaries are supposed to be filmed based upon true facts. And so um, you're hearing it here first from a woman who was his wife, his partner, his friend who created this movement, and that's exactly what she was explaining. And her daughter here, Usha, who is the late Dr. Sabi's daughter, okay, one of the first of his children, not the actual first, but, you know, I'm just saying, <laughs> from the beginning, <laughs> from the beginning. I know he has how many kids? About 30, 31. But Third? mom has a different number. Mine yeah. is 30, I 31. I say hundreds. You say hundreds? I do. He traveled all over the world, and he had children. So what we actually know, maybe it was 25, and we know more were created after the 25. So that's why she say 30. But I know at least 50, and I know it was way more than that. Okay. So the, this is the documentary right here, okay, <laughs> <laughs> of what really happened and what's been going on since the late Dr. Sebi has passed. And um, I want to start with how he became Dr. Savy and how the village was founded. I know you kind of touched a little bit on that, how it, it was created out of love. But I, what I understand was he was suffering from several illnesses himself before he was able to heal himself. And I guess you, you took well, great part in that. Am I correct? Well... Yes, I was a part of it because where we started is traveling. We were traveling, especially to Mexico, but we were traveling all over the world. He was, he used to get really sick, like with asthma. He had asthma from a little, little boy, and he would get real sick, like um, bronchitis, and get really, really skinny and just mm. down. He had, he was 200 and something pounds and he had asthma, and he had diabetes. Okay. Were you there? 
<laughs> so I think we need to hashtag Patsy, were you there? <laughs> <laughs> Like we do hashtag Nicki Minaj stole my back hashtag Miss Patsy aka Mrs. Sabi were you there? <laughs> okay, <laughs> I just had to point that out. That's gonna be a hashtag. So that's where we began with the herbs, and that's where he began to think about the healing of the nation, the healing of the people. Because when he what when we go to Mexico, we would go to Mexico all the time, and we would travel through, and he this personality again, he would pick somebody up off the street, stranger, off the road, because we went into the villages. Oh, wow. And we learned from them. We studied, we studied herbology, but we studied the body, we studied disease. But where we really learned on first hand was going into those villages mm. and really experiencing it with the healers there in Mexico. Mm. And so and being that he healed himself is what really drew us into this. Him being healed and no more asthma. And he, you see how skinny he is. Yeah, right? and I mean, he was 81, right. I believe, before he passed. And smoking herb, cussing folks out. Yeah. <laughs> That's personality. <laughs> like he was every bit of 21. And I'm like, Dr. Sabi, okay, I love it. Mm -hmm. And so... um, it's interesting to, I mean, because in order for, it, it's like, you know, and I'm and not to put down traditional medicine, uh, I wouldn't even say traditional, uh, mainstream <laughs> medicine. Yeah. That's not traditional medicine. Mainstream medicine, the business medicine. It's like a lot of people go to medical school and they're taught this certain type of way, but they haven't lived it. And I think that's where Dr. Sabi's uh, name and the movement became so controversial and a lot of people, um, especially uh, uh, brand medical business, was upset with him. And that's why he had to face um, all of those, you know, bogus charges on practicing medicine without mm -hmm. a license. He was basically, it seemed to me, giving back what he had learned um, from healing himself mm -hmm. from the inside. And, of course, mm -hmm. you were along that journey. You were there. I almost died <laughs> three times. You almost died three times. I was blind, totally blind, paralyzed. It was three times I was I see your daughter died. back there. She's... Yeah. <laughs> Three times. She's like, yeah, she did. She yeah, was she there. Did. Was traumatizing. <laughs> yeah, because she was 10. Sasa was a baby. And it was... Um, we were traveling because we were always traveling. So the... All the, this was Dominica, and all the herbs were supposed to be on the plane, but we were on a private plane coming from St. Croix to Dominica. And so he didn't have the herbs, but we were in Dominica before we went to St. Croix. So we had given all the herbs to everybody, and so they brought all For the... For free? Yeah. Oh. And so... They brought the herbs that they had because they weren't in bottles and the fancy labels and all that stuff. Then it was, we put these together and put this together and we gave that to them. Yeah, and it was all free because he had left to go and get more herbs to come back to give because that's and how did, And how did you save yourself from dying three times? It was savvy, it was savvy, it was savvy. He put the herbs on my head. He put the herbs on my head because I couldn't swallow and my mouth was twisted and I couldn't, I couldn't move my tongue. I couldn't swallow. I couldn't move my hands. All of that. It was because of the water. The water was contaminated. Mm -hmm. And my Sasa was just born. So Sasa is 37. I'm almost 70. So you know this is a long time You're ago. You're almost 70? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> I'm almost 50. You are not no, almost. No, she's not. She's I am too. Only 40 Why something. Why do you say that? I'm almost half a I, century I'm, I'm, years I'm old. I'm I say I'm, 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 I'm 40 every day. <laughs> I say I'm 40. They're like, Tasha, what is it? Are you 36 or 40? I'm like, that's somewhere in there. I stopped counting. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I stopped counting. Mm, but the, that's how we created the hair food oil. So he put the herbs on, on your my head. head. And my and hair they, was always short. And they penetrated. And it penetrated because it I was just coarse. Want to inject something no, here. please. I'm oh, sorry. No, yes. no, no, this is amazing this stuff. Over. Oh my God, you're no. my mom. Aww. You're so cute. No, she's like the best. Um, no, I just wanted to say something because she talks about 
the herb and the poultice that he put on her head. And, you know, there are a few people out there who have created new products that mimic that poultice. You know, I think they call it hair fortifier or something of that nature. I don't really know. It was presented on World Star, a young man. He had purchased something from someone, and he put it on his head, that poultice, and it caused his whole face to blow up. And oh, my gosh. And his head to get very big. And it was just like, oh, I have no, this is allegedly. I'm going to do the Wendy Williams thing, allegedly. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. Right? And so there are a few people out there that, that are mimicking this or trying to recreate this herb. And that you I, and... And, and Dr. Sabi, Sabi created. Mm -hmm. But okay. yeah, but here's the, and I never really heard the story the way she told it. And so to me, it's amazing that they've taken something so pure and so beautiful that saved my mother's life. And they take it and turn it into something that actually harms someone. And it's amazing because there are so many people out there today that are saying, you know, I was taught under the Dr. Sabi way or I did this and I did that. And we have to be careful. We have to be careful what we do. We have to be careful what we say because we are all here. We want to help each other. We want to help our community. But if we're not careful how we produce these products and what you do and what herbs you use, you can be potentially harmful. It can hurt people. Mm -hmm. So we want people to know, and we're here today, to let people know there are there is more to this healing thing, <laughs> so to say, than just throwing a few herbs together and say, here, here's a $1,500 package for herpes or AIDS. It doesn't or work cancer. like that. It doesn't work and, like and, that. And that is, and I was explaining to Usha during one of our private calls um, that that was called private labeling. Mm -hmm. Remember? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they have companies set aside who just already have herbs together. And you just slap your name, slap the logo on there. They can call it Dr. Sabi's uh, original formula and sell it, patent it and sell it. It's really easy. If I want to get 100 bottles right now of this uh, particular, I guess, not of, according to how you guys made it from scratch, but something similar to it with some of the the same elements that you probably used in the original formula, all I got to do is put it on there. It's Tasha K's vitamins, sell it out. It's on a website. It's off. It's off. And literally you can Google it right now and anybody can do this without a license. Mm. And that's oh, why wow. you see it on the bottle. It says not FDA approved because mm -hmm. vitamins and minerals and, mm -hmm. and herbs, they don't go through the FDA process because they're not really... It's not anything. Well, she has a different story. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Please share. She has a My, different uh... story. Share your story, the FDA story, Mom. Yes, I would like to know about that, and I'm sure the viewers would as well. Talk, uh, to hear from someone who was actually in the room. You were in the room, and you were with uh, Dr. Sabi during the whole process, the trial of him being tried for curing AIDS and curing cancer and all these other illnesses that um, a lot of people who have come behind him to try to debunk to say that this is not true. Can you tell us a little bit about, you know, what happened during those court proceedings and, and what you saw? The very, very beginning of this court procedure, it was the police coming in, bursting in, to arrest Sabi, and he said, I knew you were coming. Mm. I knew you were coming. And they tried to set him up in so many ways. The phones were recorded, were being tapped. All of the phones were being tapped. The, the man called, what's he called? The attorney general, okay. he called and said, because what happened was he put, okay, we started a long time ago. You got to keep me focused. In the 70s. You, 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 you. It's okay. Yeah, yeah it's okay. okay. So we started because I, I got to get back to that point. Okay. What in happened the with the coke? And this was in, uh, was it in New York? If I'm not this saying? is in New York. This was in okay. New York. So we were between New York and Puerto Rico because I remember yeah. being outside and I remember seeing 
cars that were investigating. You know, yeah, they, they were, come driving up. Savy oh. wasn't there because Savy's in New York. Okay. But he was arrested in New York, so she's right. It's between the two places because when they come speeding up, oh, what are you doing or speeding up? Or just surveillance. Up? There was surveillance. Like, till this day, they, I still, anytime I hear a tick, 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 on that the phone, phone. we like, know it's oh, being, recorded. being recorded, and we just tell them we know we know you're recording us because the lawyer had played <laughs> what they were recording. And you're were like, you how there? did you get this? Like, Once again, <clears throat> but okay. the, they came up. See, I told you I was going to lose my point. Well, it's see. okay. They came up. Yeah, but I was. Recording. But the point was where we started. Oh yeah, we started. With the healing, right? Okay. They, in the, we started way back in the 70s. That's facts. You were giving so it out for free. We were giving it out for free. Okay. So now in the bottles and they were coming because it was just a conversation. Everybody was sitting around. So now when by the time it came to be in the 80s, once again, were you there? When it came to be, <laughs> when it came to be in the 80s, that's when you started hearing about AIDS and her, you didn't yeah, even hear about, but more about AIDS, but you start hearing about AIDS. Anyway, yeah. this man came to us. He had AIDS and he could hardly walk. And this was at Pacific, 616 Pacific. It was advertised in the Let's put you on the mic. Hold Oops. on, because this is some, this is exclusive information here. Okay. It was advertised in the Amsterdam News. Wait. I went fast. Okay. The man kept coming. He kept coming, and he was taking the herbs. And he was, first he could hardly walk up those stairs. And then a little while longer, he could walk up those stairs. He came with his wife. And then he was fine. And I'm not saying he was fine. He went and took the test, and he no longer had HIV. So then more people came because they we weren't at we weren't even advertising. So more people came. And so then it was said he a Sabi, of course his personality, he said, AIDS have been cured by the Usher Herbal Research Institute. And that's the beginning of the arrest. Mm. Were you there? That is some powerful information because to this day we still don't, I guess, mainstream have a cure for AIDS. But your husband, and you witnessed this, cured a man and others of AIDS. And this is when the federal government, government decided to come in and say, oh, no, and put him on trial. Exactly. Now, how was he able to get off? Well... <laughs> I won't say it again. So, <laughs> <laughs> were you there? I'm only <laughs> it's with love because we're only. It's with love. I I swear it's with love. But it was. It was a lady judge, and the attorney general, and whoever this lawyer was. But he was one of those top top lawyers. Okay. That was. You know, on the other side. Okay, working for the state. Yeah, okay. ours was Greenaway, I think his name was. Well, you know how Sabi talks, right? Yeah. And so as they asked the questions, the man was all nervous, and he had the paper up in his hand, and he said, well, they say you're doc... Okay, wait. He was arrested for practicing medicine without a, med without a license, a false advertisement, and false label. Okay. Those are the three big things, right? Okay. So now so now he's talking, he's holding his paper and he's shaking his hand and he's saying they call you no, he says, So you are claiming to be a doctor? Because in my head, sitting in the courtroom, I'm like, Well, they call Doctor J. You know, this is because remember we skipped it, but remember we started in the islands. That's where we started. Okay. St. Croix. Okay. St. Thomas. You it before to... we came to the United States, we were in the islands. So in the islands it's a different rhythm. When people are healed, everybody is Dr. Sabi, Dr. Sabi. Okay. So that's where because the doctor the came. He's, because of the act that he's performing, there you're helping someone to achieve wellness, and so in that act, one identifies it with a doctor. So they begin to call him that. 
there was a little boy that was dying. He, it was his spleen, but nobody knew it was his spleen, and he laid there, and he was like five years old. This is Dominica again. Mm -hmm. And so he was laying there, and he could hardly walk. And so then we gave him the herbs. Once again, you know, my, ah, go cook so-and-so. So we're putting these formulas together, and we gave him the herbs. And the doctors had said he was going to die. And so we gave him the herbs, and he was up and around. This is a small island. You know little islands, yeah. how they do? Oh, yeah. So it gets around like that, right? So it gets around faster than what a phone can before you could like dial Jesus a phone. Jesus is healing. <laughs> Jesus is here. And so they were going around exactly, He's like, exactly like that. They were going around in a circle, in a circle, and everybody was dancing, dancing, dancing. And they were saying, Dr. Sabi, Dr. Sabi. That's what they were saying in... Mexico, they called him Dr. Sebi because he isn't just a herbalist or a healer. He's more than that, and it wasn't, wasn't even claiming that. For me of today, I'm not a healer. And with all due respect, they're not healers because you're the healer. Mm. Because it's your body that's healing. Mm. So that's where that name came in. So in court, they, he's trying to say doctor, that he's claiming to be Dr. Sabi, but it's all these people. It's hundreds and hundreds so he's of like, people. I, I never claim. Okay. Did he use that <laughs> as his defense? Like, he didn't he say. He, Sabi's real. He's like a real genius, very highly intelligent. Okay. So he's not going to say, like me, you know, I'm going to try to defend and cry and being victimized. He's not going to say, I didn't say it. He said, that's what the people say. Okay. And look you straight in the eye. And that's why I'm telling you that, because it was what the people said. So the judge was then on his side because it was what the people called him. And that's how... It Dr. Was and that's how the federal government defense. and the attorney general and everyone came to know of him because... His name was spreading around. around Dr. Okay. Sabi. Well, but it wasn't they, because he was saying, became, I'm medical. The okay. way they became to know him <clears throat> was he took the time to advertise in the Village Voice mm -hmm. that the Usha Herbal Research Institute cured, had the cure for AIDS, cancer, diabetes, HIV, herpes, and so forth. And so when that advertisement was put in the Village Voice, that's considered false advertisement because what proof do you have that you can cure such a thing? We've never heard that. So thereby, you're falsely advertising, saying that you can do something that you can. And that was the other piece. And so then okay. it became the factor that the New York State had to prove that he didn't do it, and they couldn't prove that because there were a number of different people that had come and testified to say, here are my, my doctors papers saying this is what I had and now I don't have it. So they had negative. a positive and a negative on HIV. Then that's when they start blaming it on oh they had a false diagnosis. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> oh I'm, I've done my research on how this works way before the interview. So yeah. Oh there's, there was you just never had it. So <laughs> you, you can't cure that. You just never had it. But we all know exactly. there's, there's big money in the sickness. Absolutely. You're not sick. There's no money. So, you know. Um, but so he was able, he was just pretty much exonerated of all charges. No, wait. He, so he said, this is not medicine. Oh. This is, food. this is not medicine. This is food. And never have our genetic structure, he had that opportunity, never have our genetic structure been addressed. And what this is, is the African biomineral balance. And that is what this is. Because in, in all the way in, our gene to be addressed from that aspect has never been addressed. Because when they give you medicine, that doesn't apply to us. No, it's it's like a one it's like a one size fits all. But you know, having having had previous conversations with Usha, you guys actually still have uh, labs in Florida, in New York, and in Atlanta. And every single person that comes, their uh, food or herbs are mixed differently based on what they have. Is that correct? Can you tell me a little bit about the process? that you guys are um, still, 
to this day uh, practicing. <laughs> <laughs> These are not bottles of uh, herbs and minerals that you could just buy online. Uh, Usha and her mother here, Ma'a, actually uh, take individual uh, human beings <laughs> and they create herbs in a lab. Like, I wouldn't even say a lab. Is it a kitchen? I like to say it's more a kitchen. A I mean, kitchen? Can, people may use the word lab or whatever, warehouse. I don't know. I like to call it a kitchen <laughs> because I like to always see myself as practicing our ancient practices of, you know, our ancestors and going to collect that herb and putting it in the pot, boiling it, and making it with love because we don't just put out a product to just put out a product. Here's a bottle of water. Great. Here's a label here. No, we're very careful with how we produce our products. We're very careful with when we order the products, what time of year, because we want to make sure that it's not hybridized or genetically modified. When we prepare it, what energy state we're in, what mind state are we in, what state is our body in, because all of that goes into your creation. It's art. You can't just... Mm. You understand? Yeah, so you, we different. had a conversation. It's interesting. She said, if we're, if, if a woman is, you know, having her menstrual, you do not prepare herbs. And I said, I wish I could use that when it comes to work. Because I'm telling <laughs> you, when I'm working and, and you know, my, my team will tell you this, I am a, you know, they're like, girl, go relax. And, but I, I, I got to get the work done. And yeah, so we, that, we live in that society it's, that it's, you got to get it done. You got to get it done. And it's different. The energy is off. Mm -hmm. The creativity is off because I'm coming from a place of a machine and not a creator. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's and, and when she said that during one of our conversations, I said, dang, like, I never thought of it like that. Mm -hmm. So let me ask you. Uh, first, I want to say this before I ask a question, as I want people to understand. So I anytime you, the viewers, or anyone is looking to reach out and acquire products from the original way <laughs> of how you guys uh, manufactured, I wouldn't even say manufactured. No, 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 that's corporate. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> formulated and mixed mm -hmm. and prepared the herbs. You cannot buy this on the internet. They have to personally contact you and see you. And you from there, you will draw up what's needed and go and prepare it. So this is not something that, and I know a lot of people are receiving. They're, they're, there are things that you can purchase on the internet, and those are products such as the Maya, the Nervino, the H1. Okay. These are things that you can purchase on the because they're simple, building up your your iron level, purifying your blood, calming your central nervous system. That's fine. But can they we, purchase them from you? Oh, absolutely. Okay. You can purchase them online, but we have a separate product line, our intercellular cleansing product line, which encumbers a lot of different other things, and those we do have to talk to you about. We have to really assess what's happening with your body and then which one of these herbs are going to best suit you. Okay, because there are a lot of, and, and from what I was reading online, a lot of people are kind of pissed, and I believe that's what Patsy was addressing. Our clients are complaining, past and present. And I, I know why they are, because the herbs that they are getting from the office that my husband and I have created, and the products that we've created, is no longer our products there. She was upset over people complaining that they're not getting, I guess, the original Dr. Sebi products. And so that's what I was just trying to distinguish. So, Well, let me help distinguish that just okay. a little bit. Um, as mom said in the beginning, and something I wanted to touch on, and something I just wanted to make really, really clear, right, is that throughout my father's life, he had many chapters. He had his first chapter, second chapter, third chapter. And so what we're asking everyone to do is to be honest about your chapter, right? Okay. And so we are part of the chapter where he began his healing journey, right? He began his healing journey alongside Ma'a. They discovered many things, did a lot of research. There was a lot there. 30-year marriage, it's a lot there, right? Mm -hmm. Okay.
So, but he had other chapters. He had other chapters of his life that he went on once separated with mom, and that's a reality. But tell your story as it is. Tell your story in truth. We want to tell our story in love and mm-hmm. light and truth. And we just want that part to be heard. And we want everyone to tell their part because he came across many people throughout his journey. And it was beautiful. And they gave much to him. He learned from them. They learned from him. Right? But let's be honest about our chapter. And so that's what we're here for today, for each one of us to be able to be, to distinguish exactly what they brought forth or brought out of him during that period of his chapter. This was ours. And so this is the part that we want to tell, and we want to tell it honestly. Yeah. With the love. <coughs> Hashtag we're there. <laughs> I know, because it's when I was doing research, it's hard to find information on you. You see Patsy more than you see anyone else. And so it wasn't until Usha came to me, and I was just like, well, you know, <laughs> I saw an interview with the wife, and she was pretty upset about the company being taken. And she was like, well, that wasn't my mom. And I'm like, wait a minute, your mom? (laughs) There's another one? Mm -hmm. (laughs) And so she's like, yeah, she was the creator before Dr. Sabi. You actually took uh, uh, part in the naming process and everything. So that's what prompted me to dig. And I found maybe one or two um, videos on you speaking of of the your marriage and friendship uh, with Dr. Sabi. And so I believe this like this is the first time as far as I'm concerned, like you're really getting this deep with it. It's the very first time. So I usually thank you don't for trusting talk the about platform. It, yeah. And they don't tell me about it because I don't even know only the bits you're telling me because my children are trying to protect me because Yeah. It's but the truth painful. needs to be heard because this mm-hmm. is this is a legacy. This is a major, I mean, Mm. Nobel Peace Prize. (laughs) This is a, this is a legacy and it has to be protected. And, you know, as we've seen over the last coming years, a lot of um, black men's legacies have been tarnished and ripped apart and and stripped. And so Dr. Sabi was someone that was special to the community. And I think the truth deserves to be heard. There have been speculations about his death. And I've spoken to Usha about it. And I asked her, and I want to ask you here, and whatever your answer is, it's okay. There, the reports came in after he was arrested and locked up that he died of pneumonia. Now, of course, a lot of people aren't believing that because, you know, Dr. Sabi was a man that a lot of people wanted to. They wanted to take over. They wanted the money, the notoriety, everything that he had worked for. Mm -hmm. And so is it true that he died from pneumonia? Because you said you spoke to your father the night before he died. I spoke to him about three days before he had passed. Okay. You know, and um, I wouldn't be able to say from that conversation that he passed from pneumonia. Um, No, that's not my belief. Mom may attest to something different. But uh, no, not 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 based on the information that I've obtained. Um, so he wasn't coughing. He didn't have p- problems breathing when you spoke to him three days prior to the report of his death. He was cold, and so yes, there was a cough. I did hear a cough. Um, okay, he but was cold. he was cold. He was like he was freezing in there, and he couldn't take it anymore. He said he had been on a two-week fast at the time. And so he was feeling low and he needed something, and you can tell, you know. Um, But I wouldn't be able to attest that he died of pneumonia besides we had a confession. And so, no, I don't believe that. You had a confession? Absolutely. Absolutely. A a confession as to, like, how he actually died or someone? As to how someone participated in his death. But we don't want to speak names, times, things of that nature, because it's an ongoing investigation right now. And I'm, I'm very happy that that person came to us to let us know what their part was in it and why. And um, well, we appreciate that. Um, but it's, a, it's an ongoing investigation as to what happened. And no, it wasn't pneumonia. Wow. It may have been That's the symptom of... 
from what was done, no doubt, but there was intrusive factors. This is the first time I'm hearing this. I mean, we've had conversations, and you, she would not speak of this. And I, and I expressed to her that I would ask on the air, but I didn't know that she was going to uh, say this. And this is, um, wow. So as, as rumors were uh, spread about him being murdered, this was a murder. In my book. Okay. And Ma, may I ask, like, um, did you, I mean, you don't have to give out any information, of course, because it's an ongoing investigation, but um, had you had spoken to him as well when he was I hadn't spoken locked to up? him, no. Okay, mm -mm. so your information that you got it was from Usha being in contact with uh, exactly. Dr. Sabi? Exactly. And how did you take the news when you found out? Did you believe it? You know, it's hard to believe to find out. It, just her speaking on it now is hard to believe that. It's hard to believe that, you know, that that kind of thing. But there's, with this, with this investigation, there's evidence. So it's okay. still hard to believe. And it's still, like, it's still so hurting. It's just painful. The whole thing is painful. It's real painful, like the kind of pain you just can't even believe exists. It's kind of every time just the thought of it and that way for Sabi, you know, like, okay, why? Why would you? But that's what we always say, why, right? And those people, whoever it is. And interesting have. enough, he was locked up with another person. I want to say, was it Pablo or, if I'm not mistaken? And he was released, uh, I guess, a week later or a couple of days later after Dr. Sabi had passed. Had passed. That is correct. Just walked out. like So it was literally two weeks of those two being locked up together. And Dr. Sabi was stripped of his cash and every single thing. And we saw the video of him being taken away. And he was on the back of the truck. And he looked, you, you could tell he was just, he was just over it, mm -hmm. what was going on. Mm -hmm. And when I saw the video of him, what it looked like to me a, appearing to kind of call out those who were, uh, uh, I guess, tr betraying him. Yeah. It's a very sad video to see. It's a very sad thing to see because you can see that he was broken. You can see that he was hurt, you know, not broken as a man, but his heart was broken because he has a big heart. He's like me. When you're betrayed and you find out someone is doing something behind your back that you have no idea about, that hurts. It hurts and it breaks your heart when he finds out, when you find out that people are doing things against you to prevent you from sharing what you share with the world. And give what you give. And to give yourself, to give of yourself your whole heart. I don't care about this money thing. Forget this money thing and the product and selling it in the internet. And well, he gave of himself, mm -hmm. him. We as his children... We got the short end of the stick because daddy had to be the one to be out there to push this, to talk about this. We have to understand that. But we got the short end of the stick. We had to allow that because we knew the importance of this and the fact that he had to give this message. So to sit back and see his hard work, everything he did, everything he worked for to just turn such a corner for him, we were not part of his chapter at this juncture. This was his final chapter, his third chapter. We were not part of his chapter by this time. They had already separated, and so there was a lot that went on in his life that I'm sure he was speaking on, but we can't attest to that because we weren't part of that, part of his journey. What were his last words to you on that phone call when he was locked up? I know someone's trying to kill me, so I refuse to eat the food in here. I'm not touching this food. That's why I'm fasting. Shit. <laughs> a lot of this. I'm sorry, mommy. I'm, oh my gosh. Oh, I'm so Can sorry. Some, it's in the bathroom. Some tissue. 
she's emotional at this moment because a lot of this I don't share. A lot of this I don't talk to people about. I don't even tell my mother. I don't talk to my sisters and brothers about it. I've gathered a lot of information since his passing and before his passing because I had canceled my whole trip just to go to try to assist him. And unfortunately, I, there was things I couldn't end up going and I, I feel terrible. Um, I will always feel I'm not a person that has carries guilt, but I know that that's something that will always that I'll always carry. Thank you know. You. Thank you so much. That's my sister's hand coming through the door, <laughs> trying to take care of her mom. Thank you. Um, and so you know, there um, there's a lot that I I just didn't share. People will call, confess, talk about, and I didn't share it with her because I know how much she loved him, how much she could never let that love go. It's 30 years. It's the love of her life. She's never loved again. She's not even thinking about that because that's the love of her life. She's through. So for her, it's so much more than what it is for the audience or people or his fans or even his clients, the ones he's healed. For her, this is a love journey. That was the love of her life. And whether they were separated at the time by distance was irrelevant. That is her soulmate and when you find your soulmate there's no letting that go you know so to hear someone that he had said that that he went through that I never shared it because I knew that it would break her up you know um I guess I'm saying it today because you're asking and the factor that I want the truth to be known and not to hurt anybody by all means especially not my siblings not their mothers not my mother I'm not here to hurt anybody. We're not here to do that. But we do want to call to action. Let's just be honest. (laughs) Let's be honest, you know. And, And so that's the desire to be honest right now. That's the reason for being honest right now, which I really haven't been in the first past because I never wanted to judge anything up. I love my siblings. I love my mother. I love their mothers. But we do want people at this time to be honest. We want them to be honest about their journey. And with that being said, and I want to give your mom a chance to kind of, you know, because I know this is the first you're hearing of this. So am I, and so is everyone that's going to be listening to this. And um, and everyone has speculated that there was foul play. And I'm sure when the conscious community gets this, um, they may be a little, you know, like, why are they un- unwind? <laughs> well, we're going to put out, we're going to put it out. The whole truth, nothing but the truth, nothing doctored up or anything or manipulated. And um, we're going to get to the facts. And I want to I want to ask you this, being that Nipsey Hussle is in the process of creating a documentary based on the facts of his life. If he were to watch this now and see that there's a lot of missing elements that's going to be in this documentary of someone who was, um, going to get the Nobel Peace Prize, okay, and went through the things that he went through, and you were there by his side for 30 years, and of course you were his child. The village is named after you, Usha. <laughs> so, and the Institute. <laughs> yeah. If he were to reach out, would you be inclined to work with him to get the facts out? Of course, because the point is to get the facts out. That's the whole point of this, is to be honest, to tell everybody's part, everybody's chapter in which, you know, they played in his life. And so, yes, I want the honesty to be out there. I want it to be out there. And I would, would you be, Would you work with Pat? Would I work with Pat? Yes. Um, my tune is part of Daddy's third chapter, and I'm sure they shared beautiful moments together and a lot of information together. Um, I have some reservations there were informations that were held, held, withheld from me about certain parts of this journey, and I have questions. I would, I would say this from an outside looking in, and I wasn't a part of any of the relationships, but when you have someone here like Maha that was there before the money, before the fame, before all the notoriety. Thank you. Anybody that comes after, I mean, that's it's like, <laughs> like I, I, I say this, it's rare that you make friends when you're already grown. You know, <laughs> it's rare. You may make associates, but friends. And oh, so anybody man. that came after you, everyone has motive. 
And not to say that that was Pat's intention, but from um, all of the videos that I've watched on her, I mean, she's doing major press runs. I'm talking about Sway in the Morning. I'm talking about some big outlets who are covering this, and not one has reached out to you to get what really happened. And did he, in fact, cure AIDS, cure herpes? And I'm sure that there are a lot of people who were... um, who are still alive, of course, who can testify to this. But it's it's about starting from the beginning. And I mean, we had 78 people that were cured of AIDS last year alone. So whether or not he could cure, we are still using his very exact formula till today. Did people all of a sudden stop getting cured? No, people didn't. People are still, we had 78 cases of AIDS last year and 52 cases of herpes last year. So when did it stop? But I just want to call out everybody. Like, I'm not going to mention out names in that sense, but I want to call out everybody. There's someone over here on this end, on that end. We have the authentic product. If if you're not purchasing products from us, then it's not authentic. It's not the original. I am not saying that. That is what people are saying. Every one of the people that want to represent my father is saying, I have the authentic product. I am the one, right? What could you thought? He used to say a long time ago, the old African saying, the one that points the finger is the guilty one. Mm. I'm sorry. No, I don't know if I say I agree. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about that. That was I think, deep, though, what she said, deep. though. I think that's very that's deep. African. It's I, a I, hit dog will holler. It's exactly. a rule that, um, that <laughs> I don't know how to say fortunate, unfortunate. I'm like, but ah. it's true, though. But it's a rule that daddy taught us. And oh. I can't let it go because it's, wo- it's woved into my DNA. <laughs> okay? Mm. I couldn't. I couldn't detach myself from that thought pattern if I wanted to. If you are pointing out the finger to someone, ooh, look what she did, you know. Well, she's um, not the one. He used to always say that. He used mm. to always say that. I had a friend point out by it. point out something to me about someone else and was like, oh, you know, let me tell you, that person is doing something. Automatically, I'm not looking at the po- person you're talking about. I'm looking at you because why are you telling me about that person? Mm. True. What is your motive for that? Because there's always a motive. If you're telling, you have a motive. But if you don't have a motive, that's not my business. That's between them. Facts. Right? <laughs> so if you're pointing it out and saying, I am the original, I am the authentic, he taught me, and no one else knows. Excuse me. My no, apologies. you're good. Um, no one else knows, right? How crazy does that sound? How crazy does that sound? There are, there are so many people out there doing this, and it's like, but he was about light and love, right? Yeah. This journey is about light and love and above, and, all. above all and healing, a healing for the nation, right? So how do we look as a people, as a person, coming and saying, that person is wrong, that person is wrong, that person over there is wrong when you know there are court documented papers that state New York versus Ma'a Bowman and Dr. Sabi. It's public record. So how can we say everybody else is a lie when yeah. you have proof? So let's be honest again about our chapter. Let's, you know, let's let's tell the truth about the lies, and be honest about the truth. (laughs) And are you worried about any sort of backlash that you're probably going to get from hashtag Patsy, were you there? No. Okay. Usha? Because I know you said you're pretty close with your siblings, correct? I am. Yeah. I am very close to my siblings. I I just live in my little world. Mama said that ain't got nothing to do with me. Those are not my kids. (laughs) No, I love them all. I know, I know. I I love them all. (laughs) I took care of some of them. I that's the that was the painful part because she forget we were married. Mm -hmm. So you came in and now you're seeing this? That's the truth. That's not Wait what I'm minute, supposed Mama. to say. Are you trying to say that she was the mistress? Yes. You should take that out. Take that out. It's too late. You no. Put it on. I know. You are. I'm sorry. Uh, so my, your, my your daughter here said keep it in. 
She says, no, keep, I'm looking at your daughter. She says, no, it's time for the truth to be let out. So it says unwind. Unwind. Yes, ma'am. It says unwind. This is what I'm holding because you worked with us and I trusted you. And you forget? I trusted you. You worked with us. So You didn't know anything. You came. And Sabi brought you into the house? No, no. With her kid? No, come on. Wait a minute. The whole whole thing is about telling the truth. Let's tell the truth. I'm sorry. Let's tell. No, let's tell. But to, no, 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 no. Because I didn't want to wind that. It's I didn't okay. Want you to but let me let that. me say it. <laughs> let's tell. But, but you know what? It's your truth. It's your and truth. It, and you have to share that, and people appreciate. And was that pain? Let uh, me ask you something. Maybe that'll be the healing because every time I see and I see the untruth or the unfavorable, then I'm crying and I'm all on the floor and I'm falling apart. Maybe this will be the healing because I'm not trying to blame. They lived their life and lived their journey. For all the people that were in Sabi's life and a part of them, and there was many, many, many women, and you asked, why did we separate? Because... It, I couldn't take any more. And I said, okay, that's personal. I'm not supposed to say it. But it didn't change our love. It didn't change our connection. So once again, what is it? Tell the truth. We want so to tell the begin- whole truth, not the whole truth, the whole truth, the whole. So Okay, because she, according for- to me. You forget. Like what? I mean, <laughs> even even if... Even if the child is upset, but she does know that, okay, we were married, creating this. You came, you just came to America. You weren't married. You didn't have the green card or anything. And you came, and we welcomed you in with welcome arms. You invited her into your home. To our house. Come on now. And Pat, who's referring to herself as the real Mrs. Sabi. Yeah, how could you be? Slept with your husband of 30 years in your home, and you took care of her children. Yeah, definitely. And she's doing a major press run. It's okay. Okay, that, that's the point. It's okay. I'm not going to continue. I'm not going to do this again. I'm not going to continue no matter what the backlash is. It doesn't matter because, Tasha, the truth always reveals itself. And this is not about oh, she did, and about all the women that came in. Because I said to Sabi, you cured all these women, you helped all these women, and they love you. Mm -hmm. And that's unfair to them because you're taking advantage of them because they will do anything for you. They love you. Mm. They love you. These people love Sabi. When you are healed, and to see the thing is that, remember, the thing is that, he brought more than just, okay, take these herbs and you healed. You felt what, what you feel when you listen to Savior, you feel good about yourself and you feel strong. And it's, it was the healing of the nation. It is the healing of the nation because that's the other part of the healing for us to have that self-worth, that self-confidence and, and feel you, good and about you, yourself. And you still loved him. Oh, Regardless all of all and the women. I still love them. All of them. I didn't have any hate because that's their journey. Our journey was beautiful, and it was for that time. So I love them, and I love those children. And you can't say I didn't love the children because I took care of the children. You took care of the children while she was sleeping? Yes, ma'am. With you. Wow. Because I know you don't want to come from a place of any sort of malice or hate. That's the point. But I don't. when someone has been walking this and all of this has been painted about someone that you love to be this and really he's this, like this is the real documentary. And I know the truth hurts, but in the end, it's like it's the truth. It's the truth. Because Sadie what hurts is a more, great, great healer. And all his personal life has nothing to do with it. And that's why we're not putting that in there. It is you and me from sister to sister, from mommy to daughter, Mm -hmm. that we're speaking on 
this is what took place. So when she's saying all this, but we don't need to tell them that because the people see the truth anyway. They see the truth regardless. Well, it's been so many misconceptions of who he was, what he did, to the point where no one even knows where to start to order a product or to seek healing. Because there's so many different, like you said, he has so many chapters throughout his life. So it's like, is this product that I'm ordering, is it legit? Is this person that claims to be a part of Dr. CB, is this, is this legit? And then people, and I'm reading the reviews. A lot of people are pissed because they're like, this didn't heal me. I went to, and I spent thousands of dollars on this, and I, I got nothing. This is what people come and say, just before I came here, a man called from Louisiana, and he said the same thing. See? Exactly that. And the truth. And I'm like, I'm so sorry. But here's and he the says, thing. I just needed to get your number. I needed to get hold of you. And I was just like, I don't want to, I don't want it to be that. You and I talked about characteristics before we sat down and recorded. And I know we had a short time here because I, I, I want you to feel okay with what you just said. Not because I need I need the ratings. I I. I'm okay. Trust me. But you said it's certain characteristics about a person that just comes out based on their sign. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so this woman who even I thought was the real Mrs. Sabi, you know, was this and she was that and she's an herbalist and she's this. But to find out how she was actually introduced to all of this, that's her character. So him laying on that bed, yelling, saying how this woman did him. So I align myself with women that are bad. I have some rotten ones around me now. My wife, my ex-wife, my manager, my daughters, they all conspired against me. You got a man that was on his, on his bed saying how his daughters and the wife betrayed him. They betrayed me. They betrayed me. And so now that he's passed, he's gone. His death was always suspicious. Nobody really believed that he died from pneumonia. We're, we're talking about a healer here, like pneumonia. That If all these other things couldn't take him out, all of a sudden pneumonia took him out. Right. <laughs> you know? And so, and now we have someone who is in a seat that you should be in on, on these big major platforms telling the real story. But instead, we're getting, I wouldn't say fabricated, but... It's it's not it's some untruths. Yes, some untruths on on how everything got started and who she really is, and that just needs to be said. You're not being malicious. It's the truth. It's the truth, ma maha. I was gonna say mama, but it's the <laughs> truth, and the truth hurts, but it has to be said. And if it's not. This was a man who was a man who did great things, but everyone has flaws. This is why we're all here and why you guys are here to to debunk the Nipsey Hussle documentary because there there are not all truths in that. No, it couldn't be. There's too many untruths. Yeah. So just me telling you a little bit of what, and this that was just a little bit of what I. So like, I'm sure you're not gonna go into all details, but. Who this person is parading around said, I'm the real Mrs. Sabi, and your hashtag, were you there? This is how you really were. Okay? So I want to thank you so much for sharing your truth. Thank you. And what, and what we know as the great and iconic Dr. Sabi who saved so many lives. Okay? When they were told that they couldn't be saved. I want to thank you for that. And thank you, Usha, for trusting Uh, my platform and my team with this information because like I said there are so many different misconceptions out there and to hear what really happened from the family that was there from the beginning is 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 I mean this will help to preserve the legacy that's what we want Tasha we want to say thank you for allowing us to say our story When you connect to someone on a spiritual level, on an energetic level, and that's what I did with you, that's what's important to me. Thank you. The name calling and the this and the great and the flashy lights, and that's beautiful, but I may not connect to you. You were the first person that I connected to that I was comfortable with, and so I did want us to be able to tell our story with someone that I knew would be able to 
bring this forth in a beautiful love and light way. And that's what we're about. Thank you. So beautiful. Thank you. You really guys are beautiful. beautiful. That melanin is popping over there, okay? <laughs> With no makeup on. <laughs> <laughs> now I got to do my signature closing. Thank you, Maha. Thank Maha. You. Okay. And Usha. Thank okay. You. The Usha Village. This is in honor, okay? Now I got to go. Can y'all help me say bye? <laughs> <laughs>